Mr. Minsky, it's very nice Hello. to meet you and very welcome to the Royal Irish Academy of Music. Um, Thank you. We're discussing the train whistle, which is one of your studies that you've written, which is on the Academy syllabus. So what students often struggle with, I find as a child teacher, is the shift in bar three. So have you any helpful hints for that? Sure. Well, I, one thing I, no, I notice is most people don't play fourths. You know, standard cello playing, we, we'll do a six. <laughs> We'll do thirds, maybe fifths, but I never saw anyone playing fourths. So that was one of the innovative techniques that I put into this piece was to, to start playing in fourths because it sounds good. You know, it's a little Debussy-esque. And it seemed to fit in this piece, so it's a little unusual. So I would suggest practicing in fourths. You know, either um, scales or chromatically, and you could do it on every string, etc. And then going from this to that. So one thing I, in practicing is to go one finger at a time. So get this one. And the main thing is I try to shift before I play. So I'm there, I have a little time to make sure it's right. And the same thing down here. And then it's easier to put them together. And I'm sorry. So going from here to here. Yeah, so I think really it's just a matter of breaking it down into easy bits and then doing it separately, putting it all together and hopefully it'll be tuned. Right, right. <laughs> Great, that's very helpful. And then the next thing that I find people struggle with, um, well, sometimes the rhythm puts people off, a kind of a blues rhythm here, da, 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 with the accent on the third quaver in every bar. That's on the fifth line, so that's just a matter of counting, I think, really. Yeah, counting and, and bringing out the accent, because I see a lot of people, true, they play it like where it should be. And it's also a question of where the bow is. I, I see people playing it here, and you just can't get the fullness of the sound. Yeah. You know, I, I explained to someone recently, De depending on the kind of piece you're going to play, you're going to use a different type of sound. So in this piece, we're describing a train, which is a big metal object, you know, on a track. So the sound is going to be a little, you know, maybe a tiny bit gritty and stronger and full. You know, so you picture the train rather than some beautiful, you know, sure. bo boat or something. Great, yes. And finally, in this study, because it repeats itself a little bit, which is very useful, is the treble at the very end, which sometimes people struggle with. Yeah, yeah. That, that is probably the hardest part, and there's, there's no easy answer. It's a lot of practice. Um, I would do it without vibrato, or just very plain. For this, I tend to use my third finger to help. I notice some other people use different fingerings. I've seen this, and I've seen even this. I, I, I'm a believer in, in trying to use the pinky a lot to get used to it. Strengthen it with your third finger on top. Yeah. yeah. Going from that one to that one. And I would do the same. Try to do it without vibrato. Just over and over again. Yeah. They get a really nice, easy tremolo. Yeah, fantastic. I just want you mentioned before the, the beginning, um, because the way it's written, it just starts right in. Um, but sometimes when I perform it, I, I try to start more like a train warming up. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's a, an American train whistle. I, I found out that around here, it's a different kind of sound the train makes. But um, I tell people to 
go on the internet and look up American train whistles and someone told me the Kentucky whistle is a particularly good one. And so you can get the, that really thick train whistle sound that we have and it does sound kind of like and then so it's sort of the train just warming up and then I have all different ways of starting but then eventually you get into the but that's more of a performance way to, to do it. Yeah. Great. Well, that's really helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you.